Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Alien Hominid. I've been very excited for this game. Um, for a specific reason. Now, here's the thing. I'm actually not... I, I love Behemoth. Don't get me wrong. I'm actually not a huge fan of uh, Alien Hominid. It's always struck me as being an uncomfortable game. Um, but I do love it intrinsically in that I... I was very much raised by that era, you know, like I was raised by, um, what are we doing here? Death ain't so bad. Keep your stuff. Yeah, let's do that. Normal. Uh, I was raised by Newgrounds, um, you know, warts and all, uh, that era of very crude and, and disturbed. Um, and I've, you know, had a high appreciation for the culture that is kind of like, been you know bred from that it's it's a weird one because like we're very much playing a lot of games uh made by people who were you know steeped in that culture and uh you know like armor games congregate a lot of a lot of people that made you know flash games for new grounds are now making uh legitimate like bangers and uh alien hominid was like one of the first like big indie games to really make like mass uh like any kind of mass impact like the fact that you could buy and play it on the gamecube was kind of a big deal for me at least at the time and i played a lot of alien hominid i did enjoy it uh i found i find it frustrating but i also find it like a really you know it's 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 a game i, I put a lot of hours into so you know i was excited for alien hominid i thought it was a little bit of a curious choice to come back to it um, Behemoth has always seemed to want to innovate, not just like a genre, but themselves. They've always wanted to innovate themselves. They've wanted to uh, reinvent themselves. Um, every single time they come out with a new game, it is a new game. It's a do different genre. They, you know, they are, are doing different stuff every single time they come up with a new game. So for me, it's like, you know, oh, if they're doing Alien Hominid again, there's a good reason. And as far as I understand, the good reason was, I mean, there's a couple of things. I don't know if it, uh, I should really, you know, check this. I don't know if the original Alien Hominid has online multiplayer, which is something I know that Behemoth love to include in their games. I mean, it served them very well. Oh, this is really cool, actually. Um, with things like Castle, Castle Crashers. Uh, Castle Crashers was like obviously a phenomenon. Um, I don't think there's like a person alive that plays games that ha didn't enjoy it to some extent. Hold on, what are we doing? I I knew to dodge through the oh I see pop quiz. We're 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 just like recapping stuff. Dodge it for mama. Dodge it for mama. So we have to dodge three bullets. We did it. We got some DNA. R2. Oh, we have a grenade. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I mean, like, a lot of words to say relatively little. I guess it's just, like, I am... Uh, I'm glad Behemoth are still doing their thing. And no matter what they do, I will be here for it. Because uh, it's always been good. It's, it's um, you know, maybe maybe I don't like all of their entries. But I don't... It doesn't matter. Because they're still good. <laughs> You know, I, I like Castle Crashers was something I, I've put a ridiculous amount of hours into. I know there's a lot of people that would love just like a Castle Crashers return. Not, not, not doing the trick. I should, uh, I should really come back to uh, Pit People. I actually didn't play through Pit People and it was like really good. Um, alien, so we can, we have different weapon choices. Mutation, throw a grenade. 
So we could do show off, pose, that's it. Health down. <laughs> you lose health by showing off, okay. Fire dash, jump height down. Okay, so we did. We have different um, kind of perks and debuffs for taking different things. Combustor, cryo shot, human minigun. Oh, do we get like a little preview up the top there? Oh, that's cute. I wonder if this is a return to Castle Crashers in a way. What kind of character customization we got? They do love the... Since, um... Uh... What was it called now? Hattie... Hattie Hattington. What was that... What was the game called, though? Battle Block Theater. There we go. Thank you, Brain. Yeah, since Hattie... Had, uh, since Battle Block Theater, it, it seems like the Behemoth games have been, like super all about character customization and in fact even like trying to make use of uh the steam marketplace to sell uh items and and stuff i don't think that there's really anything wrong with that at least they haven't gone like full live service with it so we've got alien setup guide um are we oh we're picking stages okay some very strange things happening with this interface <laughs> So yeah, this this demo is multiplayer, but I haven't, uh, I don't have a friend to play with, so I'm just gonna be playing on my own. It's fine. No, the ice cream. No. Oh dang. Complete objectives to allow extraction. Difficulty rises with time. So uh, this, um, I mean, this is a very different format from uh, the original Alien Hominid and uh, uh, Castle Crashers as well. We don't, doesn't seem to me like we have like a standard level structure. We are just like doing as much chaos as possible. Oh, this is just chaos. Oh, what was that? What do you mean? I can jump on a dude. Whoa, what is happening? I, I can barely tell where I am. I really, I really is a alien hominid sequel. <laughs> do, 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 do. How do I, how do I scan the stuff in? Am I just like hanging out here? Okay. Okay, this is this is actual chaos. Oh my god. I want that. Whatever that is, I want it. <laughs> you can like jump on guys. Ooh. What is that? Like everything is your own personal mount in this game. Oh my god. <laughs> How do you do knife kills? I, don't, I wonder if you can still do knife kills in this game. We, we failed to do the thing. So what we've got here, it seems to me, is a collection of like mini games. Um, and I'm I, like, this is cool now, but like, how is it going to work in a level structure? Is it, are we just like, are we going for like a co-ompetitive kind of game? Oh God. Seek the, seek the item. Okay, I see they're, they're, they are pointing me in the right direction here. So yeah, you're using, um, oh God. You're using a lot of mobility in this game. Ouch, ouch. Let's go up. Up, 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 up. Yes. There's, there's a lot of things going on in this game. I don't know if I can keep up. So uh, our last thing is collecting newspapers. I'm kind of worried I'm going to die. Oh, we got lots of newspapers up here. Ouch. 
okay let's get let's get the newspaper up here i love the uh shooting down it was something in the uh old animal um animal crossing <laughs> alien hominid game but like not used to such great effect like it really does feel like it adds quite a lot to your mobility all right now we need to we need to get to that um extraction point or not that extraction point we need to we need to deliver the newspaper okay here we go leave me alone i'm just a poor little uh, newspaper delivery alien I, I scarcely understand what's going on right now we did it can we can we extract now objective remove five purple enemies oh You know, I haven't. I I just realized we can't do a charge shot with this um with this gun. Oh god! Ouch! Ouch! Th that's not a purple enemy. Oh god! Oh, you know what? I'm not doing more of. What I should be doing more of is dodging. Cause that actually adds even more mobility it actually kind of feels like um like mario odyssey in that you can you can like combo these different mobilities together to really uh just like get some insane height these uh these guys are getting really tough i can't actually kill them anymore okay what are we doing oh we're extracting Ow. I think we're extracting. We might not be. Get. Come on, let's go. Yes. Back to the mothership. Oh, I get it. That's why they're, um, that's why it's called Mama. That's really fun. So we got loot boxes. Um, my concern grows, but... I have faith. We have levels. We can level up. <laughs> Whoa, hey, you found a box of loot. We can open it at our hideout. Okay. Where's our hideout? I, I don't know where our hideout is. I just like got to a new stage. Okay, well, a sequel is a state of mind. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, this is an alien hominid too. This is alien hominid invasion. Worth noting. There's a big difference, you know? Um, I don't, it'll be really clear what kind of game this is, you know, from uh, judging the second level in a way, because that'll tell me like how our level's gonna change. How, um, what kind of new obstacles are gonna be introduced. Wee, wee. We're already dealing with fairly tough enemies right now. You do want to get things done as quickly as possible. Wee. Oh god, this game is fun. This is really cool. Remove the flybot hacker. Oh, he's, he's, he, there he is. New objectives. Okay, okay, whoa. The fact is they, get, like, the game gives you a bunch of other aliens to, to hang out is pretty fun. It does add quite a bit of extra chaos to the field, though. Okay, just trying to just trying to get the newspapers uh, I mean like the art style of behemoth games have always been really good but um, this one feels like one of the most polished it just feel it just looks really good 
Okay, we need to get to that newspaper. The copy machine, I guess. Okay, I think we're doing a, I'm doing a pretty okay job right now. Certainly I'm completing these objectives faster. Remove purple enemies. Okay, I can do that. Oh, I for, I have been haven't been using grenades. How do we use grenades again? I'm trying. Oh, there, it's right trigger. Apparently I don't have any grenades. Some of these enemies are feet are seeming really difficult right now. We <laughs> wow, you can really get some height going. The music's great too. Oh my god. You can just like do like dude hopping we have 26 seconds to kill more purple dudes there's a purple dude yo purple dude get get over here ouch we're taking we're taking damage we're losing subscribers wait that's not a mechanic okay dude you need to you need to die there we go we did it get the money Okay, now we need to extract I think no we have an, another I mean there's another newspaper mission maybe it's just like the more you end the level with the more points you get there's there's more up there Whoa. we <laughs> I love the little legs just kind of doing their their uh, little dance all right oh we missed a we missed a loot box we did better that time I think okay but I want to get to a hideout this uh, doesn't seem like a level this seems like something different lost on death get to a hideout oh I see if we die we lose a bunch of stuff I wonder if they're going kind of like extraction with this game. A little, little bit of extraction. A little bit of Tarkov. You can see just by from the looking at the other aliens how much character customization is. I'm assuming you're you're gonna unlock more um, hats and stuff like that. That's something they love. Behemoth loves them them hats. Valve really have a lot to answer for, don't they? I accidentally used my grenade. Shoot. It seems like you earn a grenade from uh, getting, like, DNA. I'm learning a lot of things uh, very quickly. Wait. I want I want that loot box. That loot box is right there. Survive the jetpacker attack. Okay, I can do that. The grenades are, um, explode on contact. Good to know. Ouch. Look at all the money we got. Give me that loot box. Give me that loot box. Okay, more newspapers. Yeah, no, I'm having a I'm having a hell of a time right now. This is great. I actually think I already like this more than the original. It's it's some strangely it's more chaotic than the original Alien Hominid, and yet it's more readable. Eat my grenade, dude. 
Yeah, you want to use that grenade. It's real good. What is this? Transport item. Uh-oh. We did it. Easy peasy. And now we're extracting. I'm sure this game's gonna get a lot harder. But I'm actually appreciating how not strenuous it is right now. It's just kind of a chill, chaotic experience. Let's just ride one of these dudes. Wee goodbye. Uh oh, I pressed the wrong button. We goodbye. I wonder if like the faster you beat a level, the more score you have. We unlocked a new gun. And we got, we actually got higher kills that time. So there's a hideout right there, I think. So I'm going to have to beat like maybe one more stage. Let's try a different gun. Let's try the new one we unlocked. What's this boost? Dodge bullet regain, regen. New hats too? Oh boy. Is this the Tom Fulp ha uh, hat? That, that's what that looks like. Oh, we got a energy knife. Oh, that looks, seems really cool. What do, what do you mean, honeycombs? Oh, we have to shoot bees, though. Oh, this is fantastic. I want to I wanna shoot bees out of my bee gun. You can't kill your what? Oh, yo, the bees. Yes. Yes, the bees. Ah, it's so good. Yo, you can charge it up and shoot a big bee, though. Yo, buddy. You can't, you can't top that. Game of the year, honestly. This is so good. I love this a lot. That, that alien has a duck face. Oh, stop that. That's illegal. Oh. I, uh, I would love to play this with some, some buddos. Actually, this is, this is really good. The, the complete chaos. And I mean, like, you, you know, what's going to happen, right? Is like, um, you know, it's cooperative until it's not. Like, hey, you stole my ice cream. Kind of kind of deal. Shoot the bees. How, where are we going? I'm going up. Okay. Uh oh. Here you go, child. That's a giant ice cream. That's far too much ice cream for you. Observe item. We we did it. What did you? Oh, what is that? Give me that. Oh, you're gonna take my B gun? Oh, okay. They gave me the flamethrower back. I mean, I know this. I know it's better. I saw it, and it was genuinely a better weapon. But the bees. <laughs> Come on. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, this is good too for now. Okay, we're, we're, we're now, we're doing the, the newspaper thing. Um, levels are feeling a little bit samey. I am a little concerned, but I, I don't know if this is the kind of game you're supposed to take too seriously. And if they're going kind of random, like extraction-ish co-op, co-impetitive, uh, there's a lot of different genres here. Okay, a boss? Didn't see that one coming, to be honest. What what is happening? What are these sounds? What what is happening? <laughs> I uh, the grenades seem to do the most damage to him. I want to get some more of that more grenades. Ow! We got a loot box. 
Did we get a grenade? We did. Use it. What is what what? Huh? Yo, maybe there's just a little bit too much chaos going on. I don't I don't know if I can handle this. Love the environments. They're really well done. Or I'll know the money. Give me the money. Show me the money. Oh, I am actually taking quite a lot of damage. Let's let's leave. <laughs> I took another hit on the way out. All right. My global rank is not good. But I'm good to I'm glad to know that the game's already doing well. Like there seems to be already a lot of people playing this. I be ba be ba be ba. All right. So is this the this is the hideout? Yay. We get to open up our loot boxes and we get some story. <laughs> so the, the, the school children are helping us. Secured loot. We got the dual laser. Did we get the B gun? Please tell me we got the B gun. We got. Oh, so these the hats actually have like stat statistical differences. I love how small the alien blaster is. It was like it wasn't much bigger in the original, but it was bigger. <laughs> actually, it was uh, quite a bit bigger now that I think about it. It was it was uh, like comically larger than the original alien. So that's what we got. We got uh, we got all that stuff. Now we can like, oh, we can spend our money on some stuff. <gasps> the B gun. Give me the B gun. Heck yeah. I, I don't even care that I can't afford anything else. I got the B gun. That's all I care about. What's the? Is there other stuff going on here? Oh yeah. So we have a different B-Gun now. Damage on coin gain plus 21% versus charge shot damage plus 16.9%. So they're going for uh, very much a collecty, looty, looty shooty game. It's in fact, it's a, you know, almost like, it's like a side scrolling um, ARPG ish kind of thing. Lots of different colors that you can, lots of uh, character co uh, options. What is this? Deflect bullets plus 5.1% double bullet plus 10.2%. All right, yeah, give me show me the bees. I love that. I love I love the bee gun a lot. Like far more than I should. Um I'm actually going to call it there. I I could show more, but I think it would be more of the same and I you know, I mean, what what can I say and show that um needs to convince you more this game has a b gun and it's cute as a button the whole game is actually like stupidly cute um it's one of the most like charming behemoth games uh, in in recent memory i've i've enjoyed them all as i say um actually i mean like pit people is closer to the kind of game that i i do on the channel i wouldn't mind doing a playthrough of that uh for a series if anyone's interested in that but in any case, this is a alien hominid and I I already love this. I I have to say I had mixed feelings about what they were doing with this. I didn't I didn't really understand it. Um and I mean I don't think that the alien hominid property, if you can even call it that, is like sacred or anything like that. I don't think that there I think you can do anything with anything, right? Um but at the same time I'm like, why the alien hominid? series why why do this with that um i don't think there's any like major reason i think that this makes sense like i don't think that the same setting or the same kind of genre or mashup of genres would work for say like castle crashers i think they could have done it with castle crashers and it would have been an easier cash grab but i kind of appreciate that they did it with alien hominid because uh you know it's it's an appreciation of something they're they're kind of coming back to it's it's almost like um it's a love letter but it's like a completely different genre 
I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's a, it's a weird one. Like, this is a weird thing. And I, that's, I think that's what draws me to it. It's like, why? But, um, you know, maybe convince me. I'm convinced. The game is good. I like it a lot. Um, but if you've played Alien Hominid Invasion, let me know in the comments. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. All, the, all of the words. Goodbye.